Hi, my name is Gordon Sinclair and in this uh, rather unusual and short edition of the Digital Brism screencast I'm going to give you a little uh, visual demonstration of the difference between copyright infringement and content theft. They are not the same thing uh, despite the repeated attempts of the content industry to, to classify them as the same thing. They are not. Um, so what we're going to do is give you a few examples. The difference basically comes down to whether the items are, are finite items or infinite items. Finite means that there's there's only one of them. So take examples. They keep saying things like, oh, you wouldn't steal a bike, would you? Or you wouldn't steal a car, would you? So we'll take the, we've got a list of different classes here. We've got criminals and customers. Um, so if you wouldn't steal a bike, would you? Well, move it across. The criminal's now got the bike. I no longer have the bike because it's a finite item. There's only one bike. Whoever has it, has it. If the criminal has it, if the criminal stole it, I don't have the bike. I can't use the bike. I can't ride the bike. I can't sell the bike. I can't give the bike away. I can't do anything with it because I no longer have the bike. The criminal has the bike. So I'll bring it back across. Some finite goods. Um, so to take the, the same example with the bike. If I sell my bike, there's only one um, there's only one of them. So if I sell the bike to a customer, um, again the customer now owns a bike. I don't. There's I can I, there's not nothing I can do with the bike because I no longer have it. That's an example of finite goods. So this is this is the argument they keep trying to make with Oh, it's just the same as going into a store and, and taking all the CDs off their store and walking out without paying. No, it's not, because the CDs are finite items. DVDs are finite items, are physical items. If, if you as a, sto as a sh store order 10 of something and someone comes in and steals 10 of them, you no longer have any of them. So you can't do anything with that 10 because you no longer have them. The difference between um, physical goods which are finite and digital goods which are infinite is that no matter what happens with these digital goods the customer or the criminal are, are using copies of them. So it's if a criminal steals a, 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 steals a copy, if they, um, if they illegally download a copy it's still a criminal act but it's copyright infringement. You still have that same movie. No, no matter how many times the, crimin the, the criminal downloads it, you still have it. It's not theft, it's copyright infringement. Again, if you sell a copy of that movie, you're not selling the original. You're selling the customer a copy of that movie or that file. You still have the original. No matter how many times you sell it, you still have the original. And that's the difference. These are infinite. Digital goods are infinite because they, they never come off the server. Or if they come off the server, it's at the, the store owner, the company, the studio, the, the, the record label. It's at their instructions. It's not at the, um, at the customer or the, or the criminal. So it's not, this is not arguing whether it's illegal or illegal or should be or whatever. The, the argument is there's two different things. One is copyright infringement which is a civil thing, the other is theft, which is criminal, but they are not the same thing. One is um, infinite goods, which is copyright infringement, uh, and the other is finite goods, where you deny the, the actual those goods to the original owner, which is theft. Two different things. So uh, this is going to be, this is an unusual um, episode, and I hope that's cleared it up for some people. Because some people just cannot seem to wrap their head around the fact that there's a difference. And this was the easiest way I could come up with to actually visually demonstrate that they're two different things. So, um, thanks for watching um, and until next time, uh, goodbye.